This is Chainsaw Man's Devil Heart, a game that somehow made it onto the front page on Roblox with thousands of active players, and I helped create it. But this was it just a month ago, not so fun to play, not much to do, and most of all, just a bit boring. And today, I'll be showing you how we turned this into the biggest Chainsaw Man game on Roblox in just two weeks. Let's get started. So first things first, we needed to figure out a way to make the gameplay loop a bit more exciting. All we had was a cleaning quest, killing quest, as well as a poorly made hybrid system where you had to gamble away half your level every time you wanted to try getting it. Not good! So first up was creating a raid system to make the grind a bit more enjoyable. Here's where Bob comes in, with the rest of his big, big family. We did some basic testing and found out that his family did not enjoy the city lifestyle. I mean, look at them! So I quickly started planning out the new raid map. I tried different designs, but I ended up doing something similar to the warehouse in episode 1. And honestly, I think I did a pretty good job with this one. But as soon as that was done, we started to realize a massive problem. Fighting Bob was not that fun! So we decided to invite the rest of his family, like his younger brother Rob, who was still too young to even walk, as well as his big bro, Todd. And after a bit more testing, let's not question the temporary model we used for the boss, the raid was basically finished, and it worked flawless. Like I was saying, flawlessly. Now it was time to add a skill tree system to the game, to make it even more fun. After a bit of planning and doing boring math, it was pretty much done. We added basic skills like more damage and more health, but we also added more advanced stuff like a kicking move, a cool slashing ability for the katana, and even parkour. I'm not going to lie, I got so addicted to parkouring around, it's literally half of all footage I recorded. I mean, look at me. I'm actually looking pretty good there. Something in this room is hot, and it's not these hot tamales. <laughs> then it was time to work on a new hybrid system. All models were remade, retextured, as well as later got improved animations. But the system needed to be more unique, more addicting, and of course... So I basically just stole the idea from other anime games like Yo-Yo's Bizarre Adventure and One Piece where in this case a heart can spawn every hour randomly across the map and you can go to the hospital to become a hybrid. And that was pretty cool, I'd say it's pretty unique and I'm like so everyone smart for coming up with this idea. Like, like, I mean, I, I know, I'm so like 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 everybody. Okay, okay, let's calm down for a moment and test out if the game is even fun. Okay, this is pretty easy. Oh! Hey! <laughs> okay, that's that's enough! Hey, 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 wait, 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 calm down, calm down! I said that's enough! Fuck this stupid shit ass trash bitch ass game! So after taking a well deserved break, I decided to start working on the map for the game. And you might have already seen some of it in the background, but here I'll show you a one-on-one -on -one guide on making a building. Basically, you start off by taking a brick, you expand it slightly, then you add a window, add some more bricks, I <laughs> said some more bricks, and um, yeah, it's done! You've got yourself a building. Wait, fuck, don't tell me that- now with the main map completed, which totally didn't take me staying awake from 7am to midnight every day for over a week to get it finished, it was time to move on to making a tutorial for the game. You might ask, hey Vibesy, what's a tutorial? Well, a tutorial is... a tutorial. So with that explained, I quickly made another map. <sighs> which is home to the one and only handcrafted Whisk God himself, Shad. <sighs> time to test so everything works fine. And with testing out of the way, it was completed and ready to go. See how easy that was? Developing games is so much fun and easy. It's not like we spent two days straight with barely any sleep on this. <laughs> Please send help. 
Now with the release day rapidly approaching, we needed to make a trailer for the game. It needed to be serious, a way for people to learn the game, it should also be unique, have a great sound design and really hype people up. Since thousands of people will watch this trailer. Hey, welcome to Chainsaw Man Devil's Contra, I mean Devil's Heart. This is how you play. You go and sleep to earn some money because you're poor, and then you go buy a knife, and then you kill some devils a few times, then you upgrade your skill tree, and do some crazy stuff. So, stop watching now. I'm going to play and scare you. What are you waiting for? No, um, yeah, that's perfect, but one slight problem. This is not even half of what we made for the game. But I'm a lazy prick, so I'll just end it here. Side note, this was a group effort, and I could have never made anything this good on my own. So check the others out as well in the description of this video. Okay, bye. That vibes you guys into that, if you ask me.